Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Nightlight9, and I have not pulled on a banner since Kate Sith. That's right. And that leads perfectly into the hype that I want to try to build up before I do my pulls on the newest banner. Just to kind of give some background for those of you who don't know, and to remind you that may have forgotten. Um, my luck with Tifa has been very up and down. Starting all the way back on the FF9 crossover event, I got OB5 Amaranth Claws from like, I don't know, maybe 50k-ish crystals. Pretty happy about that. I was stoked, in fact. Then, um, let's see, we had the uh, Guide Gloves banner. I went all out on that banner. I think it was somewhere around 78,000 crystals, 80 something thousand maybe. And I only ended up with an OB4 guide gloves. I was devastated. Devastated. And I can tell you the uh, the luck was really bad. So that was not that was not good. Then with the bunny gloves, I was more concerned with Kate Sith during that banner. I will you know grant that. However, I pulled enough to get Kate's main weapon on that banner to OB5 and didn't get a single copy of the bunny gloves. So there was quite a bit of crystals that were spent in that endeavor. I have since gotten the bunny gloves from a free pull, but that was the last thing I pulled on. And that is how I have nearly 71,000 crystals sitting here. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but the last two times I've pulled for anything Tifa related have not gone very well for me. And one of them was literally heartbreaking, like to the point that I had to take like three day break from the game because I was so disappointed. In it. Um, hopefully this one goes better, right? That's that's the goal. Now, before I get into it, I will move myself over here and briefly go through the wish list for anybody who cares uh, what it is that I'm going for. So up here we have Ivy Collar. Still haven't gotten a single copy of this, and I really really want this uh just having a fire breach and an ice breach in the same weapon seems incredibly good uh, the next one here that we have is shinra military sword with sephiroth uh, this has a wind breach which is obviously good the self buff pretty good as well um it's only 3 atb and i do have flora wand for Aerith, so this wouldn't be my first wind breach but i do find them to be very strong and I would like at least a copy of this weapon. Coming over to Feathered Gloves. Would love this because of the water damage. I think this is pretty much a no-brainer. Especially because Tifa is like my favorite unit. Bunny Gloves. I just want more copies. I've got it to OB1. And yeah, uh, eventually would like to have it to OB6. And then last but not least, Syringe Rapier. Uh, this is just, I think, a fantastic support weapon here, magic defense and physical defense increase. Uh, these are the weapons that I'm wishlisting. Now, without further delay, we will get into the pulls. I don't know how many crystals I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna have to just judge it as it goes. I'm willing to spend them all. Yes, Vincent is coming up probably in like a month. I'll just figure that out when I get there, but I might conserve some crystals. It just kind of depends how the pulls go. I'm just gonna have to feel it out. We will start with the free one because yes if you look in the details and odds uh it is possible in this to get the uh current weapon so we'll go ahead and just get it started with the free stuff first why not nothing here so i guess that was uh that was pretty easy didn't expect a whole lot though the rates aren't up or anything on it it's the same rates across the board for five star weapons all right, using our free pull, let's go. Do you wish to draw without making changes? No, I think I've got everything set up right now the way I want it. Let's do it. <clears throat> One stamp, not the greatest start in the world. But there's plenty more to go, so uh, yeah, I I'm not gonna get myself too worked up. I'm gonna watch this animation one time. For those of you who wanna skip it, you know, go forward about 15 seconds. Other than that, I will be skipping every other animation. I just do this to get myself a little bit hyped. 
you know, we're probably spending a lot of crystals here, I would imagine, somewhere in the 40 to 50k minimum range. And I just want to make sure that I'm appropriately psyched. Woo! That's always a good way to start. And it's one of the reasons that I like to watch this animation. It kind of maybe gives me the omen of like things to come, right? Is this going to be a good session or not? That's a great way to start it. I see Tifa. Yes. All right. Very stoked. Very first pull on the free pulls here in gloves. That's a copy. Put one in the bag. Couldn't be happier with that. Could not be happier with that. We shall continue. After I click through all the pop-ups. We would like to clear stamps because ultimately I do want to get both costumes if possible. I think we're going to be doing enough pulls to do that regardless. So stamp count is something that is pretty important to me here. like a matte weapon is it the syringe wave here i'm happy with that I'm, i would probably like to get one more copy of that before i would reconfigure my wish list i don't know that i necessarily need it to be more than ob1 so we'll have to we'll have to stand by on that one two i would be very happy if i could just get two stamps throughout all of this really Is the, is the battle garb lucky? Aerith. Would it be a copy of the weapon? No, it is not. However, I believe... That's a lot of wizard staff. All right. I got I got all those piling up. It would be really nice if I could get a copy of her weapon so that I can choose on hard two whether or not I get the Obi-Wan or switch it to Tifa's weapon. Be, would be very nice to be able to make that decision again with the battle garb okay we've got a tifa up here again and we've got a sephiroth and is this the wish listed yes it is i'm really really happy that so far the wish list items are coming through and i'm in the same boat with the military sword here i think i would take it to obi-1 and then i might have to readjust or reevaluate. And that is another copy of the Kieran gloves. Oh, I think that was the guaranteed copy though. So I, I can't be too excited about that. I get I get a little bit swept up in the uh, excitement of everything and sometimes forget these things. One stamp so far. So we haven't seen any three stamps, just been ones and twos. But the pull luck has been, I think, so far, quite good. Yeah, and as just as I say that, I, I'm i due for some ass luck, let's just say. Okay. 58,000 left. Still feel pretty good about this. Whammy number two. Yeah, this makes sense. Um, yeah, I think, you know, about a 70% drop rate for five stars. I feel like we're still kind of above that at the moment. But I would like to pick up some more copies of these gloves. That would be really, really helpful. Three whammies in a row. It hurts. It hurts. I'd be interested to know, by the way, if any of you have certain strategies uh, for doing these pulls, because sometimes, for example, when I hit a bunch of five-star weapons in a row, I wonder if I shouldn't like go pull some free tickets, try to maybe see if I can't weed some of those, uh, you know, terrible pulls out of the way. I don't know if there's anything to that, but it's been something that's been in my mind uh, for probably like the last three or four months, because now this is four in a row where I've completely missed and that hurts. I'll be honest. It hurts. Got the costume. Knew that was coming on this one. And I'm, I'm happy about it. But so far, I've only got two copies of Tifa's weapon. I have no copies of Aerith's weapon. 
and the stamp luck has been, I would say, pretty bad. I would have expected to get at least one free stamper. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Alright, it's testing my patience at this point. Um, I think that's four in a row. Four in a row without a five star. Oh my god. These stamps are so bad. So bad. It's crushing my spirit. Alright, two and one. We've got an Aerith and an Aerith and a Tifa. This could I think this should be it. But that, wait, I think that was the same thing. That was the guaranteed one. I'm pretty sure. But, ooh, another copy of Bunny Gloves? Is that right? I'll take that. I'll take that. Not as exciting as getting the Kieran Gloves, but I will, I will take that. Let me just make sure real quick on this stamp card. No, it was not the guaranteed copy. I'm going to go with the Kieran Gloves. I'm going to switch them back now that I've got one of Aerith's because I don't feel that it's that important to get Aerith's, even to OB-1. I, I mean, and I can do that, I think, with weapon parts if I need to. I would rather... Um, I'd rather really shoot for OB-6 on Tifa's. These one stamps. I, uh, I'm about 30,000 crystals in now. All right, Matt and Aerith. Okay, there's another syringe, and there is my Obi-Wan Kimura-Wan. So, I'm happy with that. I'm going to take a second to reconfigure my wish list, and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, and I've made a decision here. I'm going to go ahead and go back for Marching Horn on Kate Sith. He is still somebody that I really, really want to use. I'm just waiting for him to get uh, some healing uh, abilities. But, <clears throat> uh, Marching Horn here, you can see I have it to OB4. OB6 would be a big deal, especially for that buff. So, that's what we're going to be setting. Just kind of letting everybody know about that. And we're going to keep pulling. Uh, this will put us down to 30, 38-ish. Which is, man, that means we've already gone through like 32, 32,000. And haven't even cleared half of the second stamp. So that's leaves a little bit to be desired, I would say. All right, then we got the battle garb, but this should be the guaranteed Tifa, right? Oh, but we get Kate Sith and Aerith. How awesome is that? I switch this up and I get one. I only need one more copy to OB6 that. And then it's really going to give me these Kimura wands. This is now uh, OB2 on that which does pretty much nothing for me. At this point, though, I do feel pretty committed to go ahead and continue going for Aerith's outfit, even though my stamp luck is the worst. <sighs> All right, guaranteed five-star weapon, but not, not guaranteed to be one of the ones that we want. It is Tifa. It's the bunny gloves again, which, you know, it's funny because I really wanted these and I'm happy to have them, but it does suck when you're on a limited banner that you know is not going to return. Uh, it's like bittersweet when you're getting stuff that you want, but like I don't want it as bad as the limited time stuff. So I, it kind of... I was gonna. I was just about to say we're due for a miss, but here we go with Sephiroth, and it is another one of the Shinra military swords. So I'm gonna have to reconfigure my wish list one more time. All right, and here this is. I don't know. There's so many different things that I need to start working on, but I am gonna go with Radiant Edge. I've got it at OB five. One more gives me OB six, and I just recently gotten OB ten Sky Splitter on Cloud. So if I get that to OB6, my fire team is, uh, I would say, quite amazing. So that's what we're going to go with. Yeah. Okay. Set that. 
And it looks like we're basically pulling till we're bust here. <laughs> I mean, unless we complete the second stamp card. Because unless something changes, actually, I think if I complete the second stamp card, I'm just done. I think I'm going to cut my losses. Does not seem that they're wanting to give me many of the uh, the Kieran gloves. As I say that, two Tifas. Two Tifas. Okay. Okay, that was actually quite a lot better. We've got another bunny gloves, which that's three more. So that's OB5? OB4. Yeah, OB4. And then we've got the Kieran gloves here. So, hmm. Just as I was thinking about backing out, they sucked me right in. All right, we're going to just still complete the second stamp card, come this far. And uh, maybe even I'll reassess. <laughs> three. Okay. Where's my radiant edge? Wow. I can't complain about that. I'm going to. Man, I'm gonna keep radiant edge on. I think because OB seven should give me more fire potency on that weapon which is definitely necessary for my fire build so i'm gonna go ahead and keep that on anyway well let's uh let's see what potentially the last pull gives us of course it gives me three stamps because i only need one why why would they why would they do anything else And we missed everything, which makes sense. We got the costume. Now, real quickly, I'm going to go just double check my hearing gloves and see if I'm going to basically pull the rest of my crystals, trying to get it as high as I can, or if I'm going to call it here and save my last 23,000. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have uh, OB3 on the Kimura wand. And we have OB3 on the Kieran Gloves. Um, and if we look at the Kieran Gloves here, you can see I have 104 Tifa specific weapon parts, currently 75 of those. So it would only take, it would take less than 25 parts, about 21, to get to OB4. Oh, and then, you know, kind of in striking distance. So uh, with that in mind, I am going to continue to pull. I'm gonna continue to pull. I do think that OB6 is in uh, in my sights. And I think earlier I had also stated, by the way, there was no single target lightning magic damage weapon. Lucia does actually have one. Shout out to Tom Rum again uh, for reminding me of that after I posted my last video. However, it sucks. Uh, and so this is the single target magic damage weapon for me. And so, yeah, that's... Uh, that's what we're going for. I'm going to just triple check that everything is good here. We are on page three. Uh, kind of funny, by the way, that, you know, I've gone for, I've gotten two free copies. Um, no, three free copies of Tifa's weapon. And I'm at the same OB level <laughs> with Aerith's. So they're really, uh, they're really taunting me, I feel like. And I'm just... I'm a little bit sad about how many crystals I'm not going to have for when Vincent's dropped. But hopefully this will be worth it. Oh, this could be Ivy Collar. That would be really big. It is. I'll, honestly, despite so far not getting as many um, of the Tifa curing gloves as I would like, I really cannot be that upset about, I feel like, how the pulls in general are going. Getting a lot of wishlist weapons, I don't know that I've really pulled hardly anything. Uh, not very many things at all that have not been at least on the wishlist. And I think that that's a big deal. Tifa, Tifa, Tifa! Oh, this has to be the, the other gloves that I didn't have a single copy of. 
again, I can't really complain about this at all. These are necessary for the old account. Would just be really nice if I could get at least one more copy of the uh, featured ones, though. One more copy puts it, I think, pretty well within my reach of... You know, and there's a guaranteed copy in five stands. So maybe I even get him to OV6. It's possible. Holy shit. Holy shit. Four... I haven't had a four pull in a really, really long time. And this is two Tifas on here. I don't want to be presumptuous. Oh my god! <laughs> Both bunny clubs? Are you joking me? Oh my god! I mean, I'm happy, but again, like I said earlier, it's also bittersweet because I mean this is this is OB6 bunny gloves. Couldn't get a single copy of them when they were featured. Pulled Kate's Sith's weapon to five. OB5. And I got it to OB6 with weapon parts. But OB5, just from pulls, didn't get a single copy of Bunny Gloves. And now, it's like the only thing for Tifa that I could pull. How ironic is that? How ironic is that? This takes Marching Horn to OB6. Um... I gotta check something to see if it's worth OB7-ing, and then I will be back. Alright, determined that it is worth OB7-ing, because the second stat is the uh, buff debuff extension, and I would like to take that up. So, here we go, let's just, I guess, pull the rest of these. Um, <laughs> it is such a mixture for me of luck here, like, getting so many weapons that I want, but just not the one that I can never get in the future. You know? Uh, okay. All right. What do we got? Holy crap. Two more Tifas again. Okay. I can't even be... I can't even be upset at this point because this is so many weapons. The five stars in general. But Tifas? I mean, I can't really be upset. So I'm just going to resolve that I don't care if I don't get another copy of the Kieran Gloves. I'm excited about this. You can't not be. Uh, but there we go. There's another copy of the Kieran gloves right here. And other gloves. Obi-Wan. And then they toss in Aerith's just because. Again, though, I feel like I've got to go for the, the guarantee here. We're just too close not to. Like, I'm not going to leave that on the table when I'm only... A couple stamps away. Um, yeah, so one more pull, and I'm guaranteed to get those. And I think with the copy that I pulled, that's an OB6, I believe. So, I think at the end of the day, I, this pull session has actually gone beautifully. There's another copy. I'm... <laughs> Okay, now that's that should so that's 200 or sorry 400 of these makes two more copies which puts me to OB5 and then the next guaranteed one is OB6 without using any of her specific weapon parts. Does take me down to 5000. However, for those of you who paid attention uh, and went and checked out Jace's video, um, ultimately to get OB6 here I was like less than 75%, um, but more than 70%, I believe. And so, you know, the likelihood was more, it was better that I would at least get to OB6 with all my crystals being spent than not. Um, but it was nowhere near like guaranteed level, you know, seven out of 10. Uh, it's like the same chances that you get a five star in any random pull in the game, uh, which as we've seen, Sometimes you go four in a row without getting a single one. So here we are. I started at, uh, I think, 70,900. Does that, does, that does that math add up? Yes, it does. So I just did the math. Uh, I did 66,000 crystals, and that was 22 pulls. 22 pulls. I really cannot complain at all. I'm, I'm very, very happy. There was... 
such a lull in the middle there that made me very worried, uh, you know, about how things were going to go. Um, we finished three stamp cards and looking at our weapons, uh, you can see here that um, we have enough to do three more. And we're at OB3 uh, now. So OB6 with 100 left over and 100 weapon parts. So technically I could take it to OB7, which I may actually do uh, just because that'll boost that lightning potency one more time, which is the main R ability that we're concerned about. So that is most likely what I'll do here is just call it an OB7. And then with Aerith's Kimura Wand, um, we basically got that to OB4 and almost actually really close to OB5 on its own. So if I ever want to take that to OB6, it's, it's definitely within striking distance. I would say those were great pulls. Again, I'm down to 5,000, so that's going to be, I don't know, really tough. I've got to save, I've got to save as much as I possibly can before Vincent comes out. But I, I couldn't be more excited about how these pulls went. I got two OB6 weapons out on Tifa and an OB1 on a weapon that I didn't even have a single copy of. That's amazing. That's amazing. So let me know how your pulls went. I hope if you haven't pulled yet, uh, but you plan to, I hope you have the best luck ever. I really, truly do. And I also like to know, you know, whether or not you're saving or how much you're saving or if you're blowing it all like I am. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.